Hello and thank you for clicking on this video. This video is a bedroom transformation. I have basically documented the whole process for transforming my bedroom from the planning to the decorating, adding the finishing touches and then finishing off with the before and afters. Also just talking you through the things that I've bought and the things that I use to transform my bedroom from this and I won't be showing you the finished result yet you have to wait and see at the end so if you are interested in seeing that please keep on watching <laughs> So I basically started out by planning what I wanted for my room using Pinterest. I created a Pinterest board and just put everything in one place and merged all of the ideas together. I will link the board below so you can take a look at my inspiration for this transformation. I've inserted some pictures here of some of the images that inspired me for transforming my bedroom into what it is now. So I basically just started off by decluttering and organising my bedroom. I knew that if I was going to do this, I'd take the opportunity to get rid of some of the rubbish that I've been hoarding, basically. Oh, right, so all of this stuff is out and the shelves are off and I'm just going around and hoovering all the skirting boards ready for painting. I've had to fold my bed up in the middle and I've still got my dressing table drawers. I'm just going to cover those and... We are almost ready to start decorating. I got blood on my hands right now. And I'm stumbling through the dark in the dawn. I have found new ways. But Day one complete. So we actually only took us like three and a half hours. So basically what we've done up to now is all of the white. So the white you can see on here, on here. Just the emulsion because it is all white already we don't actually need to do any more coats um so we're just waiting for that to dry i've just put the base of my bed back in for now keeping this shelf and these two this one and this one will be wallpapered tomorrow and we'll be glossing all the skirting boards and also my wardrobe door and then we're going to fill those squares with the wallpaper so it matches the walls so you know, it doesn't look that much different at the minute because we've only gone over what was already there. And it will be finished tomorrow, which is really fun. Current situation after three, four hours painting. So I'm going to get in the bath and clean the paint out of my hair. I think you'll be able to see it there. And then tomorrow, like I say, just the wallpaper in and the gloss to do. And then wait for it to dry and it'll be done. So I'm pretty happy really with what we've got done today but like I say it was only going over it anyway so what I'm going to do is have another look online I still need to find a table lamp for my bedside table I also need to get some baskets from Ikea obviously it's closed at the minute and then I just need to find like a couple more styling pieces like decorative things so until tomorrow the painting clothes can go away day two and today is glass so I've got all the skirting boards my bedside table and my wardrobe door. So I'm gonna make a start on that. And then my dad is the one who's helping me. He's gonna be putting the wallpaper on. This is the wallpaper I've chosen. So it's from B&M and it's sort of like a beige with really tiny speckles of gold in. And it's gonna go really nicely with my theme. No, I can't be the one that you need. decorating's finished so i'm just going around with the method floor cleaner and wild rhubarb again if you watch my other organizing videos you'll see that i love this and also i have the method glass cleaner as well in mint it's just really nice to have cleaning products that don't smell like cleaning products if that makes sense so i'm just going around and cleaning up at the minute so today's sunday and all the decorating was finished yesterday so we finished all the glossing the wallpapering the decorating it honestly didn't take that long um 
I think maybe yesterday we did like five hours or so, five or six hours, and the day before was like three hours. So it's not taken as long as I thought it was going to. Last time I decorated here, I did it myself. It took me ages and ages. Yeah, so today is going to be putting all of the furniture back in its place and then I'm going to start dressing things. I've still got a couple of things to arrive yet. I'm going to wait until I've got everything to, to reveal like the whole room at once. I'll show little bits as I'm going through and where I've got things from and stuff like that but for now I'm just going to show you a little bit of the process of putting some things back in the room. So I'm going to put you on a bit of a time lapse and just start getting the stuff back in. Maybe we got time, 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 time Change the way I love it Maybe if I try to fix this heart then I could have stayed the night I could have called you mine I can't be the one that you need Maybe if I change the way I love it result so I am so happy with how this turned out and I just thought I would go through a few bits of furniture and decorative pieces that I purchased and where I got them so this chair I actually got from Amazon I searched for ages for a new dressing table chair they were all so expensive then I stumbled across someone's video with an office tour on YouTube and she had this one and I clicked on it expecting it to be really expensive and it was just under £70 from Amazon. I'm so pleased with this. I think it's a beautiful looking chair and it just fits really well with the theme and I'm really, really happy with this. So the legs on this are like a beach wooden colour which I think breaks up the white in the room really really well and I'm really really happy with this. So in terms of on my dressing table I'm a skincare fridge. This palette holder is actually a letter holder that I got from Home Sense a while ago and my brushes are in an Ikea pot. I am looking for some new makeup brush holders but I just can't seem to find any that I actually like. So I'm still on the search for those. I have a scrunchie jar. Lydia Elise Miller made me do it hers are huge but I don't think that I needed one that big and I just have this sat on my desk all of these products will be linked down below in the description box and then I just have this little tray with some stuff in so these flowers and the vase I got from Ikea quite a long time ago I did have these up in my room before the tray was from the range and then I've just got a few of my favourite skincare bits and perfume and just some little decorative things out on my dressing table. 
anything that I can link, I will pop down below. Also on there, if you follow me on Instagram, you will recognize this. I got this little personalized trinket dish from Etsy. It's from a shop called Love Me Unique. Her products are incredible and I'll link her shop down below. This candle was £4 from Asda and started off my obsession with coconut and it is just incredible. It fills the whole room with coconut. I'm really happy with how the dressing table now looks. I think it looks really lovely. So you will notice on my dressing table, the tabletop is flush at this end of the drawers, but at this end I do have a gap. That's because the last chair that I had under my dressing table was a lot thinner, so the tabletop is actually too small. I have found one on Ikea, but delivery time scales at the minute are really really long so i'm just gonna have to wait until the back open and go and pick one up this is the shelving unit above my dressing table i just didn't keep the shelf on the opposite side of the room but i wanted this one to keep some really nice decorative things on there and i love how it looks i'm just going to talk you through each of the items that are on here most of them are new but a couple of them i already had so this is actually a little ornament that I got from B&M. So it isn't great quality. It's very, very lightweight, but I think it looks really good. And I love this. This little pot is also from B&M. I think this was about £5. I'll try and link everything below. These little vases. So I was actually looking for some vases to put my artificial flowers in. And I came across these really cute little set of ceramic vases. They were the perfect colour. I actually got these from eBay and they were very, very inexpensive. And I'll link them below too. This is just a little money box that I got quite a while ago from B&M. I just thought it would look really nice on here. This plant is also from b and I really wanted a fake plant, but I wanted it to make sure that it fit in with the scheme, and this one does perfectly. You'll notice I have an empty frame. That's because of my decennio disaster. I don't know if you've seen the video on that, but I am waiting to find a print that can go in this frame on here. This rug I also picked up from b and This is pure white, and it gets dirty very, very easily, so I'm sort of regretting getting this a little bit. It's really soft and it was really inexpensive. So I can't complain too much. And I'm going to keep it for the time being, but I think maybe I need something a little bit darker. This jewellery organiser I actually got from Amazon. And it has a place for your rings and bracelets and earrings. So it has a little bit at the bottom that you can put some jewellery in. And then a space for your earrings and also for your bracelets. I love this. In terms of my bed and my bedding, I had a bit of a disaster. I ordered a throw that came and it was tiny and I ended up purchasing this set of two throws off Amazon. They've got some tassel detail at the end of them and these fit perfectly into my room. I have both of these on the bed and I basically just fold the lighter one over the other one so it looks like it's all one, but I just think the contrasting tones on these fit in really well in the room. Now, these cushions that are on my bed, these have 50 by 50 centimeter inserts inside. They actually have two because I wanted them to be really full, but I wanted them to be slightly smaller than the pillowcases so that I could chop them. I didn't know what chopping was until I started looking up a lot of interior stuff, but I love the way these look once they're chopped on here. I really wanted to get a brand new bed, but they were just so expensive. So instead I ordered this headboard to fit onto my divan bed and I'm so glad that I did. I love it so much. You can get this one with the fabric buttons like I have, or they do have ones with like the diamantes in, but I just wanted everything to be really neutral and cream. Again, this will be linked down below. I'm really impressed with the quality of this. So this is what the base of the bed looks like and I don't like this fabric at all. As I mentioned, I didn't want to spend money on a new bed. So what I've actually done is I've ordered some fabric samples so that I can wrap the bed myself. So I had a look online to see what matched the headboard as best as I can and I actually was delivered this fabric sample here. So what I'm going to be doing is wrapping this round and tacking it to the base of the bed. I haven't ordered the fabric yet but once it's done I will post a picture on my Instagram. And my bedside table, I do need a new table lamp. I haven't found one I like yet which is a little bit of a nightmare but everything looks a little bit tidier than it did before and I really like this space. That is everything really that I purchased up to now. I do need some things on the walls and I also need to get 
some other little decorative pieces but I think I'm going to wait now until lockdown is off and actually pick up the pieces myself. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you do have any questions just please comment them down below. If you did enjoy this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Cause I've been running around in circles screaming out your name. Take